hi everyone, this is Dan Bauman. I'm doing this webinar on behalf of NARI in their personal development seminar. So welcome everyone. I'm on the call here with Chad Gilman and Tim Berg. They're both with LP Building Solutions and Chad is a territory sales rep uh, for repair and remodel and Tim is a territory sales rep repair and remodel as well. You guys, thanks for being on the call. I think without much further delay, we'll just go ahead and have you get started with your presentation. I know you've got a lot of things that you're gonna cover today. So um, I'll just turn it over to you, Chad. I think you've got the slideshow and you're gonna be doing Excellent. the talk. Thank you very much, Dan. And and we uh, first and foremost, Tim, Tim and I both wanna thank you all for taking time out of your busy day to, to join us today. Hopefully uh, we give you a lot of good new information and tidbits about, about a really exciting rollout within our, within our company. Um, we've had some transitions over the last year. Uh, we went from being known as LP Building Products to LP Building Solutions. And I think one of the really great things about that is, is we're coming out with products that, that we're being asked for in the marketplace. And, and one of them uh, that we're going to present today is, is on our engineered um, wood smart side panel. And um, it, it basically, when, when I'm asked what is smart side, I, I, I tell everybody it's basically taking all of the beauty and aesthetics that wood has to offer, as well as the convenience of being able to paint it, to be able to nail it and be able to cut it, because it is wood um, without all the hassles of it rotting and decaying and, and having all of the problems that we associate with, with uh, cedar and, and, and other hardboards of the like. So we're gonna be talking about expert finish today as well as uh, where it's rolling out today and, and in the future. And, and we, just, we just really appreciate you guys being here today. We, we are a publicly traded company and um, basically have more than 28 mills across uh, the US with more than 5,000 employees i'm sorry 28 mills total in north america with um, with over 5,000 employees we have 17 mills in the u.s uh, many of our mills are are located in uh, the midwest here because the aspen or poplar tree that is predominantly utilized in our smart side siding um, is is uh, very abundant in these areas we do try to do most of the harvesting we actually um, work with loggers across the country and, and uh, we try to get most of our raw material from within about 90 miles of, of all of the mills. Um, we do have one of the mills located here in Two Harbors, Minnesota, as well as several in Wisconsin and, and Michigan. Um, in addition to that, we have a couple of them in Chile and, and in Brazil, and now we've, we've launched into the pre-finish side of the business and we have three of those particular facilities in the u.s what's really exciting uh, about this launch is to finally have our own specific 16 colors um, it allows us to do additional marketing uh, one of the things that that our customers uh, whether it be the contractors and or the distribution network they have done an unbelievably great job of getting our product out into the market and um, giving it a lot of validity. And in order for us to take that next step um, and, and move it forward, we needed to have a finished program because not every part of the country is as strong as the Midwest as far as pre-finishers are concerned. And um, in addition to that, some larger um, national builders uh, were requiring um, this and, and um, it's, it's been a very, Exciting journey, and and uh, we're we're just at the beginning here. One thing that you'll notice throughout um, the the uh, I guess throughout the different slides that I have is is how everything kind of fits together. Whether it be this marketing piece that you're seeing, um, or or it be our our bifold and or our our in home presentation materials. Everything fits together nicely to, to tell the story and to tell its differentiation from other pre-finished LP products. Now, we still, we still fully support um, all of our third-party pre-finishers, and um, we just have a couple of unique um, opportunities within this, within this expert finish line that is um, very, we think, very helpful for the job site as well, well as very helpful for the finished product. So real quick, do you guys do custom colors too, or is it what you see is what you get? 
That is a great question. No, we do not. We don't do any custom colors. We've got okay. 16 standard colors okay. um, for the siding itself and in the eight inch texture that's available right now, um, as well as we're gonna be adding a few different profiles in there coming up. And, and we have five, five of those 16 colors are, are also our trim colors. So definitely a great question and, and a limited program that we believe has a lot of validity for, for um, several businesses out there that are looking for the opportunity to not have to overcommit themselves as far as the amount that they wanna bring onto a job site and have the easeability if they do damage um, a, a piece or or run short that they can easily get it. Um, so how does the I hope you don't mind if I ask questions in between your no, slides here. No, but how does the LP finish compare to the uh, diamond coat? That, that's a great question. Uh, the diamond coat is a is a very strong partner of ours, and it is a it, it's an excellent product. It has uh, it has automotive grade pigments just like ours. But uh, they definitely have a different process that that is very unique in the industry. Um, I believe that uh, the, the the warranties themselves differ from each other some, and and just the overall process of of the way ours is applied versus theirs and the way theirs is baked. I mean, it's it, it definitely two two individual processes there. I think there'll be a couple things too, Dan. That uh, you know, we have partners like Wasar Diamond Coat that do a lot of unique things with re-engineering the product uh -huh. and adding accessories and whatnot. I think as we go through the slides, you'll see a few different uh, you know, versions as far as something a little bit more simplified so that product is on the ground, available, uh, unique in that aspect for the contractor uh, in both distribution and dealers out there that uh, you know differentiate it. The other thing is somebody like Wasa is stocking our expert finish. They have brought that in in addition to their diamond coat. So okay. I think uh, you know, from a cost perspective also, uh, you know, you'll hear different uh, different terms out there, but I think Wasa brought it in looking at like a Chevy Cadillac type situation where they really feel that their diamond coat is the high end, uh, you know, story that's above any other story, but still wants something to be competitive and unique out there too with our expert finished product. Okay. I assume the price points reflect that Chevy Cadillac analogy yeah. that you just gave. Okay. Yep, and, and they have another product that they're rolling out in addition to that, which is a, a printed on product that uh, is gonna be available for exteriors as well as interior finishes. So they, they've got really a, what they consider their good, better, best type of scenario. And um, like I said in the beginning here, we, we work hand in hand with all those pre-finishers and 80% and of the market is captured by custom color. And we're just trying to do a few different things with with this particular program. Where while while we're providing more smart side brand awareness through color, um, we we also have uh, an additional piece to it that we'll show here in a bit. But right. we're also trying to uh, relieve some of the pressure on the pre finishers that that is very real. Um, every every year in the fall, especially. Um, they, the, the lead times get stretched out because there's just not enough capacity to keep up with the demand of all those custom colors. So providing a, a package solution, um, we believe is going to be the first step in, in really helping out the marketplace to keep, to keep our remodelers being able to move. You know, with, with our smart side expert finish trim and siding, um, it is an automotive grade pigment. Um, we will be talking about the paint here in the next slide, but those automotive grade pigments are, are much different than we're gonna see at the big box stores and or Sherwin-Williams and, and places like that. And, and thus, in a controlled setting, um, we're able to apply the paint and, and have it perform over, over a much longer period of time. What is it gonna to offer to homeowners and contractors? I think the, the two highlighted items advanced durability in both material and long-lasting curb appeal, as well as peace of mind, really fit hand in hand with what contractors are trying to provide to their homeowners and what homeowners are, are, are expect, their expectations are. And uh, we feel that those are two items that, that we can definitely identify and help, help both parties out uh, greatly with this particular program. 
we we as a company um, decided uh, to to utilize Exalta Paint. Um, we have they, they, they're actually a, a company that purchased Valspar and, and um, very large. They've been in the industry for over 35 years. And one of the big reasons uh, through lots of different testing, because they had many different choices to go through, that they found this particular paint did an exceptional job on the peaks and the valleys. One of the things with the, the siding, and, and Tim, if you could hold that up, um, you'll notice that there's definite peaks and valleys uh, or wood grain on, on our product. We also are going to be coming out with a smooth product that we'll be painting in, in uh, the latter part of the year. But those peaks and valleys, it's really important to not have to overspray them so you don't have blistering and cracking and things like that. And, and this particular paint um, works in great conjunction with the primer, which is Exalta, on, on our product and has been for the past 10 plus years. So feel it's a great partnership between between both of these and and the one real unique aspect that that we've been able to work out with Exalta is all of the paint that we're receiving is going to be pre-mixed. We're not going to be mixing any colors at the facilities. Thus it will save us time as far as uh, being able to pull one vat and and put one bunk on at a time. In addition to that, they have guaranteed that they're gonna stay within one Delta Hunter unit of, of, um, of each paint batch. So if you get our products painted at any one of the three facilities, they're gonna match up, whether it's in 2020 or 2022. If, it, if it's the same color that we've been mixing, um, it, it, will, uh, it will remain that way. So I feel that there's some definite advantages in, in that and um, it, it, it allows us some unique flexibility um, when we need to pull from, from different facilities. Cool. So it's easy to touch up. I mean, you can get the paint readily and, along with the order to touch up. So the, the, the touch up, we'll get into that um, okay. as, as, we, as we move through, but that's a great question. Um, we are gonna require that it is, it is from our touch up kits to go along with this particular paint, but they will be readily available. Um, through through distribution as well as the dealer network um, that that is out there. Cool. So th this slide just depicts where where the current locations are are pre finishing, um, and and we purchased the PSPI facility in Green Bay, Wisconsin, at the upper portion of of the uh, map here, and um, as well as the the Saint. The St. Louis facility was an old Cedar Creek paint facility. It's not even that old, it's only five years old. Um, in addition to that, our Roaring River, um, North Carolina facility has been converted back to being a, a paint facility. It used to be, I believe, in the days of Baby Tico, um, a paint facility, and then it was converted into being a fiber line for us. Um, we are getting out of uh, producing fiber, and all of our products are gonna be produced in strand, um, there there may be a, a a few of the products that don't get to move along with us in the strand conversion, but uh, we feel as though the strand product is is a much uh, easier product for everybody to work with, um, as far as the lap and the and and uh, all of the other accessory products that go along with it. So, so what do you mean by strand versus fiber? What the strand is like OSB type material. Uh, strand is like OSB material, and and um, the the biggest difference is is the process as well as the size of the flakes. Our product is an engineered wood, and each each one of those flakes are about the same size as a credit card or a business card, and they're all coated in our Smart Guard process, which consists of our MDI resin, our marine grade waxes, our zinc borate, and then and then all of those are layered up in a north, south, east, west. Each layer is is in in a differing direction so that we can control the growth of it. Um, and it has a paper overlay on it. And it, it basically is like taking a, a, a piece of wood and, and um, injecting it with steroids with all of the different um, things that we've done to ensure that that it will not rot or have fungal decay and or that that it, um, it, it the zinc borate helps out with that as well as for uh, termites 
then the marine grade wax is, protects, is protected on all the edges. This is an example of, of the different products that are gonna be available in the expert finish line. Right now, the, the, the one that's readily available is our eight inch lap, our, our, our eight inch cedar lap. Um, that is our lap that, is, that everybody's very familiar with in our wood grain. Um, in addition to that, you'll have your, your trims in, in four of the five colors right now. The only one that's not available is Tara Brown, uh, which will be coming available. Tim, is that going to be available in July? Yeah, July. Okay. So that'll be available in July, and, and much of the distribution network has, has third-party pre-finishers that are, that are painting that up. So you can have a complete job as it sits today. Um, there, there are other items on here that aren't available today, but, but are coming, and um, we'll talk about those briefly. But, but as it sits right now in the Midwest, the 8-inch lap is, is available, and um, all of the 5 quarter by 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, as well as the 4 quarter trims are available in this marketplace, as well as the batten strips. Tim, do you have anything else to add to that? Yeah, I just wanted to jump in before you go through this in a little greater detail uh, in being the fact that we have people possibly from different parts of the country that uh, that are on the call. Uh, you know, right. Chad and I being based out of Minnesota, we really started off with this launch in January in the Midwest or what we consider the Midwest and North Central. Uh, you're going to look at basically a, a three tiered process with launching this expert finish program and you're going to basically have the East Coast uh, taking on orders late this year in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, taking product in or to end really the turn of the year next year for the West Coast. So, uh, you know, don't want to mislead anybody on the line as far as when we're talking about availability. We're really speaking to our immediate market in, you know, Minnesota, right. Wisconsin, and Iowa. So, yeah, and just so you guys know that are on the call, you know, um, as part of the NERI group here, um, I asked, you know, hey, if we can just bring in other people besides our local NERI. And they, um, said sure so i sent a note out to my list to my email list and uh, so some of you probably are out of the area but um i am assume it's going to come to the united states all, all the united states over time yeah, right absolutely. that last slide where the area was highlighted is that the area where it's available right now yeah so i, sh I should have covered that a little bit <laughs> a little bit a little bit clearer um that that is the distribution network that it's available in right now Okay. Um, the next place it's going to be moving is is into the east and southeast part portion of the country, um, and and after that it's going to be moving west. Got it. Cool. So here's one of the biggest differentiating portions of of the new product. And Tim, if you can hold that up, um, it, it, it's uh, it's very unique in the sense that. The, the, expert, the expert finish is going to have its own expert finish lap. Um, that particular joint is going to take the place of, of metal H molds and or um, any, any need to back or pan flash these. Um, in addition to that, um, it, it is only going to be available on our expert finish. And, and I want to make sure I make that clear. Um, only because I've been asked uh, several times, is it going to be available in Prime? No, it, it is not going to be in, uh, available in Prime for the time being. Um, it is not going to be available to any other pre-finisher besides us and our expert finish at this time. The, there, there are definitely a couple of small items that, that need to be followed um, as far as the installation portion of it. Um, we we still require the 3 16 inch gap on on this particular product, um, and and that's because of the way that it acclimates. The the siding itself um, it, it doesn't expand and contract. It comes out of our factories at about a six percent moisture content. Once it's out at the job site, it 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 will only when it's installed on on the house, it'll only acclimate up to 17 to 19 percent. It will never reduce the amount of moisture content that's in it. Thus, we need to control, we need to have that controlled gap of 3 16 to allow that to expand. And with that, you know, the, we also require on the job site um, 
when, when you're done for the day, we're asking everybody to always cover the product back up because if you leave it wide open and exposed, it, it, it can begin to acclimate. Thus, it's not closing up, closing up those gaps or those seams. Um, the, the benefits of having half of this have like a ship lap to the expert lap itself are a it's got it has the it has the small 3 16 inch um, gap line on it um, the expert line in, in addition to that it's only it's about half of the width of of the siding itself and that controls some of the shadowing that 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 you can get especially if you're utilizing a pan or backflash of of the square edge product um, we we find it most uh, most helpful on the lighter colors. Some of the lighter colors at times have a tendency to really uh, accent the, the the shadow or the um, the butt edge until it closes up. So we believe it's going to be a, a, a time saving as well uh, because they're not going to have to take one extra piece and and be addressing it. If you're installing this and you're you you have your um, your starter course, you need to cut that edge off and run that at a 3 16 to the inside or outside corners. So it's 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 not meant to be where the finish is gonna is gonna be such as an inside or outside corner or in between windows, but um, it definitely is gonna have a, a, a time saving for, for your row. This is a job that uh, Tim and I got to go out to uh, shortly after this was installed. The, the, the greatest part about our engineered wood, our smart side product is in comparison to like a fiber cement, it installs about 20% faster um, in a side-by-side -side test that we just ran. In addition, we found with this new expert lap that, that your overall consistency for your 3 16 inch gapping is is much greater and and we weren't asking anything unusual of this particular crew that was out doing this we just wanted to take a a, a bird's eye look at it once they once they got more than one wall done to see to see how much more consistent their work could be one of the things that that's pretty near and dear to my heart i i was um i was a supply rep for for a number of years and and have been working with this product and my concern was always, it didn't feel like we had a, a consistent um, tool in a touch-up kit for our uh, subs to, to be able to utilize on the job and have great success. I'm really excited that uh, we, we took the, the leap and, and made sure that we not only have a, a, a touch-up bottle, but this particular bottle is, is unique in the sense that it's 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 easily grabbable. It's 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 like an oversized shampoo bottle, and it has a flip top. Now, the reason why it is so important that that you can that you can hold on to this bottle is you you really need to shake these paints up in much greater um, order than than you would any any of the other paints that you might get at Home Depot, Menards, things like that, because with it having automotive grade pigments they're much heavier and what what i continually see at job sites is people that would have a small quart can of paint um they give it a couple of shakes and and that that clear liquid would would be off the top and then they'd start utilizing it to do the touch up well that doesn't work it has a flash it, it flashes off and, and makes the jobs not look so well in addition to that I, I love the flip top because it allows us to easily fill up our our two our two touch-up bottles and the first one right here is is meant for your larger uh cut edges such as the end cuts or going above windows and doors and things like that um, and and the top of it is is not simply it, it's not simply a foam pad on top of this like a like a dauber would be at a bingo hall but it's actually a polyester it's got a polyester um, product on it and and it makes it so you can go over a number of these sharp surfaces that get cut over and over again uh, without it breaking down in addition to that they they actually came out with caps to go over the top of it. So now we have our best installer 
typically our best installer is the one that's doing all the touch up um, that, that has the tools necessary to do a great job. Um, in addition to the larger dauber, we have a smaller one, and that's for your finer areas, such as your nail heads and any of your high point rubs. And there are times that, that um, when, when crews carry the product and, and rub it up against each other, that they can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of the top surface of that wood grain to, to just slightly rub off. This this pen style this pen style um, touch up uh, kit really makes it easier to to lightly touch up that area. And, and the one thing that that we we know from years of working with different pre finishers and or installers is that less is more when it comes to touch up. And, and the fact that this particular touch up kit allows us to, to do those finer areas in, in, a, in a controlled manner um, really makes the success of the job much easier to do yeah, it. Those, nice. those would really make it easier. And, and this gets back to your question, Dan, from earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this does contain our Exalta paint and it's directly the same paint that we're utilizing on the lines. And this is the only touch up that can be used to, to touch up our painted product. Okay. It will need to be ordered with the job also, Dan. So it's you know, not something that's gonna just automatically get shipped out with the job, but will need to be ordered along with your material. Along well, just kind of like ordering nails, you gotta order them separate, right? Yep, and, and, and we're- process. We're having we're having great conversation with with all of the dealers as well as distribution dealer reps and, as well as contractors about mm -hmm. that. But uh, we're just trying to get everybody on board. I think the other thing that I am absolutely ecstatic about is is there are in there there are actual touch up instructions inside these kits, okay. and they are they are going to be available in in four four more languages. So we're we're gonna have that shortly. Um, we we got to see the prototype of those, and and we've got a lot of different areas of the country and a lot of different subs from from different countries and different languages. And and it is essential that we give people the right tools and right communication to to help them um, have a great job. So it looks like the whole process is hidden fasteners, so you don't need colored nails or anything like that, right? So most of the job is going to be a hidden fastener um, mm -hmm. because it's going to lap over over the next um, panel. The only time that you'll typically have an exposed nail head is either on trim and or your finishing rows that go are diving into your soffits. Okay. Do Does those come colored? Do those come colored? Did you use a touch up? No, to... no, that's where that's where this this uh, new the the finer touch up pen. Can you see where my cursor is right now? Yep. That that's where that one really comes into play. There yep. there have been other other tried methods of of touching touching up those areas, such as instructing them to use the cigarette butt, um, instructing them to use a Q-tip, um, touch up pens that were preloaded that would actually um, create an electro electrostatic charge yep. that would draw the paint away instead of sealing it down on top of the nail head. So They've really come up with this wicking system with the with the best method that I've that I've gotten to see in my my last 20 years. That makes sense. How did the colors stand up in the sun? They they stand up very well. We we have a we have a five is it, Tim, it's a five hunter unit, correct? Or five delta unit. We're gonna get to the warranty here in, in a second and we okay. can kind of talk about talk about those items, but Color suggestion chart. Um, main reason why I th this just jogs me to to say that there are there are a number of different metals out there as well as um, different different uh, manufacturers metals I should say that this does come into being a close match with. So if you have a job and you want to do um, metal soffit and fascia, you have the ability to do so. Um, and, and in addition to that, it, it has been matched up with OSI caulking and, um, we just need to make sure that we covered every, every edge of this to, to ensure that the houses look fantastic when they get done. 
here, here's kind of where the, the, the rubber meets the road. I, I think one of the coolest parts about, about having expert finish is the fact that now, now our, our, our engineered wood, our LP smart side, it's 550 warranty has one additional um, key in it and, and it's the 515. So for five years, not only the finish, but the siding itself is covered bumper to bumper. So that would mean any anything that that you would need to make that job whole again is covered, whether that's a dumpster, pulling a permit, having an electrician come out because you had to remove and replace something. All the little things that add up into a job are covered. And and one of the great parts about Minnesota and and I and I I don't want to miss this part is our products in, in our state take a beating, especially in the Midwest here, but but Minnesota in particular. If you think back to the winter of 20, 2018 or 2018 2019, we had a 150 degree temperature swing. We got down in the 50 plus <laughs> below, and it hit and it hit 98 degrees. So I remember that. our products they get abused, they get stressed out. So if there is any abnormality with the product or the coating itself, it's going to show up in the first couple of seasons. That's the beauty of of of, of living up here, and and the the thing that I'm so excited about with our products are they withstand the test of time. They withstand the elements. They they do great in freeze thaw, which is really important in in the Midwest here. Any any of the yeah. products need to be able to stand up to that freeze thaw. Bill has a question. How does a black color stand up to the heat cold transition? The, the stands dark color. up. You know what? It, it it stands up really well. We haven't had we haven't we haven't had any problems with it. I know. The pre-finisher that that we had purchased had black colors and and uh, they haven't had any any issues with it either in the past. Um, great question though, and 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 this this 515 warranty that you see. Um, so you have your first five years are bumper to bumper. Your six to 15 are prorated, and that that's prorated on labor and material. Um, one of the things that that is very unique is we utilize an outside agency called RS Means um, to ensure that that all of these are equitable across the U.S. We utilize RS Means to contact three of three painters within a particular zip code that the problem is actually have, happening. So we don't just have a set dollar amount because it may be more expensive in Minneapolis. Than it than it is in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, or vice versa, and we want to make sure that 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 homeowner is made whole in 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 those instances. Um, in addition, this this uh, this warranty has one thing that I haven't seen from from any of the other uh, pre finishers uh, yet, and and unless somebody tells me differently on this particular call, we actually. We, we actually have um, transferability with the warranty itself. So for you remodelers, it would transfer one time from that original homeowner. If you're a builder, and, and I, I know a number of builders that, that actually live in, live in the home that they just built and then sell it within a couple of years, um, or, or, you build, or you build a house and, and then it takes a little bit, you, you'd actually have Two two times of uh, transferability on that, so it is a it's a it's a great opportunity that uh, especially for our remodelers that run into the homeowners that that particular house would be perfect to have this solution on there for a great curb appeal and great resale, but that homeowner says, "Gosh, I, I I'm going to be moving in three years." Well, that that warranty goes right along with with the sale of the home for hmm. the next homeowner. And it, it takes away one of those hurdles that, that we run into. Any questions come out about that? You know, not so much about that. Uh, I had one from Joe about product in Canada that gonna be available in Canada at any point. You know, I don't know that it, that it will be available in Canada. At least we haven't been made aware of that yet. Okay. Yeah. And then- There's no specific launch date for Canada that I'm aware of at the moment. Okay. 
and then cost per square foot. I'm sure are you, are you going to talk about that. No, actually, we we don't. We're not going to cover any of the costs. That, that'll be something that they'll, they'll want to get from their their suppliers. Okay. And um, we just we just don't cover any of that. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not your job to cover the cost. Um, uh, can you give a, a range of comparability to, you know, some other forms of materials where you might come in, price it's, range it's wise? Gonna be, it's going to be similar to your fiber cements. Okay. Um, and it's going to be more expensive than vinyl. Sure, that makes sense. Some of the some of the packaging that that they're doing with this is is it's really state of the art. The, the, the nice part with the lap side, it'll be packaged in six pieces per pack, and each one of the individual, whether it's individual pieces of lap or individual trim pieces, will have some date coding as well as you know time date. Everything will be stamped on there. In case we do run into an issue, we'll be able to we'll, we'll be able to fix it quickly. In addition, it really will help out the, the suppliers to be able to identify colors without having to tear open any of these packs. So it'll be it'll be helpful for them. And um, currently our, our, our trims are being packaged in either a two or a four pack. And that will be that will be changed up in, in the coming months here uh, because one of our facilities is is getting some new equipment. So they they will be changing I think everything to two packs moving forward for for any of the trim pieces. This is just basic storage and handling. We had to we had to create new pallets for this particular product because uh, we added we added a little extra with the ship lap. We didn't want to take away any of the face on the product, so we we came up with new pallets and new procedures as well as this is showing um, how how it's sheathed and um, protected. Kind of links do they come in? All of our siding and our trim is in it's all in 16 foot lengths. Okay. So your standard lap and your standard trim is 16 footers. Now your your corners, um, which which we'll we'll uh we'll talk about briefly. We're gonna have 10 foot corners available in five quarter by four inch and five quarter by six inch in five of the colors. In addition, we have a 16 inch vertical siding that is 16 inches wide by 16 feet tall that is utilized for for especially a lot of the taller peaks that we see uh, requiring board and batten and and you see it a lot in in the new new construction areas where they're utilizing that as a cost effective means to to really give it a, a curb appeal so right now as we talked about earlier we've got the eight inch textured lap in all 16 colors in addition to that we have our inside corners, uh, which are five quarter by two inch trim in all 16 colors available. Um, all sizes of five quarter inch trim are available in white, black, sand, and quarry. And, and we will have the Terra Brown out in July. In addition, we have the four and the six inch mitered outside corner posts right now in white. We also have textured soffit. Three, uh, we have our three eighths inch panels which are four by eights and four by tens in white right now, and four four quarter trim are um, in four six and eight inch in white, black, sand, and quarry. Those those can be utilized for board and batten. Uh, we see that some of the time. In, in addition, it's utilized with our panel product all the time. So it also <laughs> shows that we have our touch up kits in all sixteen colors. So are those outside minor corners uh, put together already in the L shape. Yes, they are. Okay. They're they're put together already. They 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 just don't have a nail fin on them. So they'll be they'll be getting secured right right on the outside of the board itself. Coming in July, we've got the rest of the five quarter and four quarter. So it's 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 our Terra Brown that will be coming available as well as our three inch batten strips will be available in all the trim colors, which was five trim colors. We've got four by eights and four by tens in all the trim colors. And then your vertical siding panel in all trim colors. The the one item that that is coming that that we've been asked about quite a bit lately is is our six inch textured lap siding is going to be available in all 16 colors in July. And it's being produced 
it's just we, when it when it gets ordered, it, it it'll begin be getting ordered in in mid June and be be available sometime mid mid July. And then that's when all of your four inch and your six inch mitered corners will be available in all the trim colors. So I got a question here from Rich. Uh, he says hey. we have a we have a board and batten project coming up in Mountainous, Virginia. We plan to use the cedar texture three eighths by and by four by ten panels. What trim batten strips do you recommend? And at the given width of your preferred batten, what uncenter spacing of those? For for the board and batten, I know I know typically we we see a lot of four quarter four quarter for batten strips as well as we especially do. On, especially on a panel, you see a lot of the four quarter used, and spacing can really vary on your install, and also going to you know be based on whether you're trying to. You know, you're putting panel up and you're hitting stud as far as that spacing, but you know, you have a APA approved series panel at that point as far as your spacing is really up to you and design. You know, as far as the look goes, nailing through that panel. So really, no, you know, specific recommendation that we would have a requirement for the batten strips themselves. So batten. So battens can be placed as wherever you like, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's more. They're more decorative than anything else. We also have more items coming, and, and this is kind of rounding out our line. The one thing that you'll notice, if you look at our literature, if you if you look at the bifold that we're going to show just a brief picture of here shortly, is that it says that what the entire line is going to cover. And I've had a lot of questions, well, why would it show what the entire line is going to cover right now if it's not all available? And it simply goes back to we needed to put together this for marketing to ensure that that we had a very consistent program and we need, we've had to communicate the timing of everything as it comes out. In September, we'll see uh, the texture J blocks in all 16 colors, the, the mini splits in all 16 colors. In addition to that, your five quarter and four quarter. See, here's, here's where we're going to differ a little bit from this slide. We're, we're probably not going to see the smooth siding and or trim available in a pre-finish from us in our expert finish until late 2020, early 2021. But it is available as we speak through WASA, the Diamond Coat product that, that uh, you had asked about uh, earlier, Dan. And they do a great job. You'll just want to touch base with your supplier and get pricing for that um, prior to putting it all together. But it is definitely available from them. We just haven't had it available in our line yet. In addition to that, we, we are gonna have our strand shake available in all the all five trim colors. And, and that's gonna be a newer product to our family of products. And um, we're, we're moving out of fiber like we talked about briefly in the beginning and, and moving everything in a strand and, and some of the reasons why, which we'll get into uh, that transition, but in all sincerity, a strand product is just much easier to work with, much sturdier, much easier to carry around a job site without, without doing any damage to it and or any damage prior to it getting out to a job site. So it's a, just a more manageable solution. So is that shake gonna come in panels? Oh, there it is. Uh, the, shake, the shake is right here. So yeah. it, it is going to look just like our, or very similar to our old, and it is a reversible shake. You, you've got a straight and a staggered edge to it. The, the one significant difference that, that aesthetically that you'll see are none of the fake knots. Our, our previous product had really heavy inset knots, as well as the wood grain itself. The wood grain itself is, is more alike to our all of our lap and panels. It's not as deep, and, and it's not as deep because the old fiber technology is a wet technology that allows us to basically mold that product, whereas this is a pressed, this is a pressed product. The side of it that is much, much better for the installers is it's all blind fastened. We're very unique in comparison to other hardboard solutions that are out there in that our our 12 inch product can be it can be blind blind nailed. It does not need to be face nailed unless you are on you know an extreme wind area that requires some extra fastening. You, you don't need it with with our products. Some of the things that we were doing, especially prior to COVID, um, we, we had a number of different 
magazines and publications that that we were advertising. Um, we're not we're not just specifically calling out um, calling out expert finish, but we are we are naming the different siding and the colors that that are out there today, and and really in an effort to hopefully drive homeowners direct to the contractor and 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 have those homeowners have some education along the way. Some of the sales tools that are available in the top right corner here is, is our bifold. It's very nice and, and condensed. It, it has the majority of the information that we talked about today in the left panel, um, inclusive of the expert lap, the, the warranty itself, and, and then it has all of the uh, colors on the right-hand side. On the back of it, it actually has the detail of, of what the entire program will look like with all of the trim offerings and all of the lap offerings, as well as panel and, and shape. It, just, uh, it, makes, it makes for a great sales tool to have, to be able to reference knowing what colors are available and what skew. I'm not sure how well yeah. that shows up, but it, it's basic to all of the di different por portions in this line. Does follow hand in hand with this particular brochure. All of the detail once again, and, and we're just trying to reinforce all of those details because first off, we're we're trying to give all of the selling tips in in one easy sheet so that you and the homeowner hopefully can take this journey and get get the price or get the color. We like to keep it all concise to ensure that it has. All the meat on it, but not not so much that that it gets people confused. The one item that I like the most is this particular uh, fan deck. It it is easy to carry into the home, as well as to have um, at, at your disposal, and and it is actually the the face of the siding that they they've shaved it down to ensure that it would fit in a in a fan deck with actual paint. Everything is like it would be coming off the line, but it's not located in a in a box that a homeowner could pick one or two out of there, and then that box of samples is no good. So it's one area for disposal. The 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 last thing that just got added, and and I think Tim is showing it right now, is our our small piece that that shows the expert lap, as well as it pulls in all of the all the different colors that are available and and it once again tips on all of the things that you find not only on the bifold but on the piece of literature you all will see these at at the different dealers suppliers that are out there and it's just a little bit larger piece that you can bring to the homeowner so that they can set it up against the house if need be not everybody's going to need this, but it's definitely there for, for their disposal. And it'll be helpful for those that need to touch and feel an actual, a little larger piece. We also really cleaned up our website and rebranded it and, and made it much more user-friendly. Ours had been pretty antiquated. This one allows for that building solutions side of, side of the equation to really come into play. The other area that, that we were lacking in was our visualizer. It just needed a refresh and an update. We work with Chameleon. They put together this site for us. Now, there's three different ways that this can be utilized. The first way is if they utilize the homes that have already been put in here and just change up the color schemes and the patterns of those homes, as well as the roof and some of the stone and the brick and things like that. The, the second way it can be utilized, a homeowner can take a picture of their home and, and input it and then mask it out by themselves. And the third way is a homeowner and or remodeler or, or builder can take a picture and upload it and send it to their folks and they'll mask it and send it back to you. In, and I believe it's, it, it's 24 to 48 hours. Of the, it, it may be slightly longer with the current situation that we're in because they might be getting a lot more call for it, but it allows people to have a look at what their home is going to really going to look like after the fact. There are other services out there uh, that, that many contractors utilize today, such as Hover, and, yeah. and that does give you a better rendering, but this gives you uh, enough for most homeowners to, to be able to move forward with colors. Yeah. 
yeah i've tried that hover app it's pretty cool how it works you know but there's a fee involved with that too so you yeah be... and 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 ours that you send in is is a 20 dollar fee if you send oh, it in and okay. it, it'd be 20 dollars. the fee itself is considerably more than that but we're we're covering more than half of the bill oh, okay and does yours right. give the quantities and takeoffs and all that too it like doesn't do the quantities it just okay. does it does appear masking um, it does not, where, where Hover is unique is it does a great job of cutting out all the trim and, and really gets into finer detail. And that's yeah. part of their 360 program, I believe, but it, it's definitely something that that's unique to them. Here, here's an area for any of the uh, builders and remodelers that are on the line. And, and it's really, it's a first time trial offer for our expert finish and it's up to $1,500. It's very easy to utilize. You can see on the website below, they simply go into the website, they choose the first time offer for expert finish, they fill out the information, and it, it is a very seamless process in comparison to having to print off a bunch of stuff and then mail it in, and, and um, the only thing that you truly need is to have your invoice, have the and have the ability to upload it and then to fill in all of the information on the site itself so i've actually helped a couple customers out with this and and my second one it took me less than five minutes to do gives you a great opportunity to try the product yeah well, quick question on the like you got corbels and things like that on this on these pictures up there do you guys supply regular paint that can be you know you can paint those kind of accessories we, we don't. Um, if, okay. if you were looking to purely utilize Exalta on the whole house, you, you'd have to buy one of the kits. And, and that's those are quart bottles. The quart right. bottles will cover up to approximately 25 of the five quarter by four boards, I was told. Oh. So it, it has a lot of coverage that it will uh, will take care of for you. Okay. Or they could probably just have the color match too, I suppose. Yep. That's definitely something that we will see is a fair amount of those accessory items such as that. More and more of the local, like Sherwin-Williams place like that, they, they'll be utilizing our paint chips and making up some of their own colors. But once again, we just have to reiterate, that's we can't utilize that for touch-up on any of our painted products because it will void the warranty. The Build Smart program is something that if any of you guys have, if any of you guys have interest, it is, uh, it is a program that, that requires a few different things. Um, we, we require an initial sign up and then there is a class to attend, a training to attend. And basically the great part with the expert finish is, is it's qualifying every contractor for five times the amount of uh, points than in previous years because to try out the expert finish, the, the program itself is utilized for, for marketing, and, and we've got a number of different resources available for it. So if anybody has any any more or, or is interested in this, please please reach out to Tim or myself, and we'll, uh, we'll sit down with you and, and go through this. In a typical year, we do hold a fair amount of roadshow events as well as training events. Tim and I actually put together our mill tour up in the Two Harbors facility in, in February this year. Luckily, it was prior to everything happening. In addition to the mill tour this year, we had we had installation training events, which were a big hit. It basically helps cover best practices, and, and the folks that do these and put these on are the Cruise Brothers. We actually have one coming up, and I believe, Tim, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's on on May 21st, and this is gonna be our first crack at doing a virtual one. The, the one thing that I've been amazed uh, is, is the, the people that put these on are the Cruise Brothers. They, they've been in the field, they've put up a lot of siding, they've ran numerous crews, they've dealt with it all. It's nice to have somebody that's been there, done that, hosting the class and teaching the class. And this would be one of the courses or the class that Chad was referring to. Uh, and going back to that Build Smart program, you do need to attend one of these events, which is about a three hour class. And you know you go through and get a lot of detail, but one person from your company would need to attend this in order to follow through on the process of applying or registering for that Build Smart program to be a preferred contractor. It's nice that you're offering training for all of this. 
Yeah, we, we, we should we should add on to that, Dad, and just r real quick, I think that, uh, you know, depending upon the market, but nationwide, we do also have field techs, because when you talk about training, I, I take a lot of pride in it, working for a company that wants to make sure somebody uses our product, hey, that's great, but the follow-up and follow-through on wanting to make sure that they do it right the first time right. and not have the callbacks or the sticky situations with uh, people not paying or frustrated homeowners. I know for us right in Minnesota, we have a field tech, Andreas Bautista, that that's his full-time job. He is out there to train installers on the job site to do a pre-job walkthrough, check on the job you know, halfway through or do a, a, a final walkthrough. But really his job in, in traveling a couple different states is making sure that contractors out there and their installers are really you know made aware of how to do things properly when it comes to the install and uh, also to have a great resource so when they are on a job site and you know they can get his contact or whatnot and, and reach out and make sure they're getting answers on the yeah. fly also so that's a nice resource yeah. that we have and make sure that you're aware of and, and, I, and I, I i didn't know if i if i caught it or i missed it tim um andres batista he's he's bilingual uh, so you know Please, please reach out. I, I know that um, it, it's extremely important to be able to communicate with the crews properly. And um, he, he does a fantastic job in both English and Spanish um, out at the site. Cool. Um, and with smartphones the, and FaceTime, you can do it from anywhere, anytime, right? <laughs> you, you really can. You know, the building, building up that trust between him and the crews, he finds that he gets a lot of calls when, when they do run into a situation. Especially, you know, you, you build up that friendship with them. So right. it's, a, it's a great resource. We talked about this right in the beginning. I, we are phasing out of the fiber products and, and we are doing so as of April 1st. There has been an allocation put out for a number of panels that we've produced in the past. And we're phasing into an all strand offering, which we talked about. The new LP strand shake is is going to be available probably in this marketplace and or the Midwest here in in, in about mid May. Orders have began to come in for it. There is enough of the strand shake uh, to get us through a good portion of time, so we're in good shape that way. But it will be transitioning. The smooth siding and trim, um, our smooth vertical 16 inch panel. Um, I believe it just came available. And yep. then the smooth cut to width soffit at 16 inch, that's available right now. We do not have a vented smooth soffit as of yet. So if you were putting this in, you'd need to, uh, you'd need to be putting in vents. We talked briefly about all the different availability of expert finish already. So that's, that's all Tim and I had for today. I'm definitely open for any type of questions. So your phase out is this April or? It was, it was this April. It was April yeah. 1st. Okay. Yep. It was April 1st. It's Tim, I see you answered uh, Jim, Jim's question about how well does the material cut? Uh, do you need carbide tools or anything like that? The, the major factor is, or what we pride ourselves on, is because it's a wood product, it's engineered wood, it cuts just like, you know, like wood. There's no special tools that are needed, you know, no additional expense as far as prep work or, uh, you know, something special, the item that they're going to need on, on a job site in order to work with it. So. Uh, as far as the wear and tear, that was kind of part of the question. I, I don't ever hear of any kind of abnormal wear and tear that goes on with blades or whatnot that uh, would be complaints coming from the installers. Uh, you know, naturally, it, it, you use a, a blade long enough, uh, you know, go through a couple houses, you're, you're probably going to have to switch it out. But yeah. nothing that would be abnormal or, you know, especially the item that they'd have to spend extra money on to work with our product. I assume the installation is a little easier and that you're not dealing with such a heavy product like the cement. Exciting. I was just going to get to that. You know, one one of the things that is really great about our product is is just the fact it is so much lighter. It's about 33% of the weight of other hardboard products such as a fiber cement. In addition, you're able to carry uh, uh, these the six packs that you saw of the actual lap siding over to the cut station. You keep you keep it inside of there, and then you just slide it over. And it's not knock, it's not pulling down your cut station. So you're you're keeping them all protected with a little bit of foam that's on there. And you also you want to cut these on the face. It does not do damage to cut these on the face. Oh. That ensures that you're not rubbing off any any of that any of that paint if you've got some uneven edges on your cut station. So there's a lot of little things that if anybody wants to reach out to Tim and I, 
that we can cover and or utilize our field tech or our paint people too. So we're here for any type of uh, information you guys need. The only other thing I'd add on to that as far as, you know, the ease of use and, you know, the fact that it's, what is the, the 16 foot, I think is a really big deal also. Now that we have the new ship up, I think that's, you know, something extremely unique out there to differentiate, but also just the links themselves versus many other products out there in the cladding uh, realm are 12 foot. So typically, you know, for homeowners, you see a lot of unsightly seams on the wall. I think, you know, we're going to have something that's going to be a lot cleaner when it comes yeah. to those things. But when you have 33% less of them on the wall, that's a great advantage, you know, to talk about. So I think we have some unique things to really differentiate you when you're presenting this product to a homeowner. Cool. All right. I think we'll call it. I don't see any other questions. So there's your contact information. If people want to reach out to you guys, uh, you're the first two on the list here. You know, if someone calls you and they're not in this direct market, I'm assuming you could easily point them in the right direction to talk to the people in their market. So, absolutely. All right, cool. Well, awesome. Well, again, Neri, Neri, thanks you. And you have any comments you want to add? No, just a big thank you to everybody for taking the time, taking time yeah. out of the day, and uh, during these crazy times, hopefully everybody's staying safe and we're all back at it quickly. Yeah, I hear you. And it's kind of nice to have topics like this where it's not about everything else that's going on yeah. it's, you know we can kind of live a little bit more normalcy uh in learning about how to craft you know do our trade better so again i really appreciate you guys uh doing this and uh, again mary minnesota appreciates it and again those of you that are on the call from out of, out of this area thanks for joining us and uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions too i can i can also point you guys in the right direction thank right, you guys. very much thank thanks. you very much have a great day everyone yeah, go out and enjoy the rest of the day. It's a beauty. All right, see you later.